Welcome to this episode of BMG Roadkill, where we build a terrible, terrible front wheel drive drag car. But it does do burnouts for distance. everybody here's an episode that i have been trying to figure out what to do with for a while now and it got requested recently and i said that more than likely that won't happen until the new year well you're getting it earlier than i expected because uh i'm in a little bit of a bind this december we have a roadkill live coming up and i'd like drag racing to return to it other than it being a burnout contest and the OG Barstow's running good now. The Dominator's running good. I got the Blue BX repowered, which you haven't seen because it's kind of more turned into a personal project car. So that was three out of four really fast cars I could run at the top of the bracket. So I made this thing, given that Leroy has made a return, and I saw that you could basically cage a 200 BX again. And I was like, oh, great, and this thing runs good. It runs fast, but it does not launch. <laughs> it is way too light in the back for it to launch any good. I have been trying all the combinations to get this thing to launch hard. It's also a stick car, so I wanted this thing to be a stick, supercharged car. And it is fast, and it is competitive, but it is very difficult to make work. So... This thing is going to run today, and I'm going to try to make it launch. But we're also going to build this thing, a front-wheel drive drag car. Now, recently there have been two mods that have come out for the COVID that have really interested me. And the first one is Revolution Racecraft has allowed us to put the rotary in a real-wheel drive setup for the COVID. I really want to do that because I know I can make that work really well <laughs> I know how to tune a rear wheel drive car pretty easily now front wheel drive is a completely different beast than me and I have yet to really figure that out and I built another Covet it failed horribly like it did not launch and fully built on full kill it was about to kill itself like going I don't know, 10 seconds, which is not fast enough. I need easily 850s in order to know that I can run these cars at this event at the end of the year. And I decided that I'd be different because it's three V8 automatic power glide cars. I gotta get a stick in there. So, Death Cart 2.0 is a contender, but this thing, I hope it can beat. So the the thing with Death Card here, the Blue BX with a Bastion 5 liter V8 twin turbo weighs 2670. And that's full kill, that's the whole drag setup on it, all the body panels on it, that's the car. This thing weighs like 2550, so it's lighter. This is my lightest car. At least drag car that can go into the 8s. I want to make this thing the lightest 8 second car that I possibly can. So that is why you've seen this brown Covet before a while ago, and it's just been sitting waiting its turn. I had it sent out, and get all the good things in it the cage upgraded the dashboard upgraded it's got a sequential shifter it's ready it's got no glass in it it's probably not going to get glass for this because <laughs> i'm just slamming a motor and radiator in this thing and we're going to go to the track and hopefully make this thing go 850s or more 
That's the goal. I want 850s or more. If this thing can't go 850s, then that thing is running at the Christmas event, and this thing is getting uh, a rotary and a rear subframe with a diff. Because <laughs> I don't necessarily like front-wheel drive drag cars, especially in beam, because they are extremely tough to handle, especially suspension-wise. They wander. They're not that good, and automation cars are even worse. So this is about uh, as best as I can give you to my abilities until the Christmas special because I have a different car with a really good engine that if it survives, I can probably make go fast, front wheel drive, four cylinder. This can, that can. So this is another guy that's basically a part of the too fast stuff. It's a two liter in line four, so it's staying true. But this one can rev the 10K. I'm probably only going to rev it to 75 for now. And then if I can get this thing to launch decent, we'll, we'll put it up to 10. But I doubt I'm going to be able to get this thing to launch decent. I also know the engine mounts are weak in this thing, so it's gonna it's gonna need engine mounts. I usually tend to ignore those, but it for once it's gonna need it. But the most roadkill thing that I can do it needs a big turbo. Especially um, out the hood. And of course, five speed sequential transmission. All of the good things, limited slip, front end. And I really don't want to do this. Yeah, the shortest gear I can in it. Might need to change. What was that? 389? Eh, it's not far off from a 406. Might need lower. Yeah, oh, radiator, so it doesn't kill itself. Uh, yeah, high boost performance radiator, because normal one cannot fit anymore. I feel like i got to fix the front end up a little bit. That just doesn't... Oh, but it's light... Is there like a carbon fiber like fascia that I can put on it? Mesh grill, okay, that's lighter. That's lighter than the plastic grill. It's not getting headlights. So this has tubed radials right now. That may change. Right now it's slow, but this ain't turned up at all. So, what, 7,520 pounds of boost? A 
it feels it feels good. It's the front tire pressure. Fourteen PSI. Turn this down to fifteen, cause no need for it to be twenty. I need the grip in the rear. Um, ten PSI. It's got a windshield, right? Yeah, it does. It needs to rev more. <laughs> All right, let's try that test drive again. If I can tab onto the right screen, too. Pulls pretty good. But it isn't going left or right either, which is great. All right. Say let's bring this, let's bring these things over to the track, and uh, I can get started with my own hell. <laughs> uh, fuck. All right, we'll be at the track. All right, first test pass. Oh boy, okay, hold on. There we go. Uh, steps, uh, I'll put this up to 45 and see if I can at least get it off its ass. I wish I could put an auto in it, but. That was not pretty. <laughs> that was not pretty at all. I'm pretty sure I gotta stiffen up the rear end a little bit and take some of the camber out of everything. Bogged off the line. So I'm probably gonna launch this thing at like I don't know. I wanna try a different way of launching this thing real quick. Let's do another burnout real quick. Ooh, the clock. 
Clutch does not like that. <laughs> but hold on, it works for build and boost. Alright, let the clutch cool off. It cannot do that for very long. <sighs> well. Ten for with a lot of suspension work that needs to be done. It's bogging pretty bad off the line, though. That's my big issue. Ah. <sighs> All right, so I need to think about this in the sense of if this car had rear wheel drive. For a drag car, you want the tires, the rear tires to drive under the car. So to start to pick up and go under the car, that is going to put the weight on the tire to cause it to grip. You want that to do that. You want it to do it slowly. So in this case, I want the front tires to drive under the car. But without weight transfer. <laughs> I know that there's a ballot plate or a ballast plate that you can add on to this to put more weight on the front end. I didn't put an oil cooler on this either, which I should have. Alright, well, what I know I can do off the bat. I think I'm going to rev it out a little more. I think eight grand is where I can kind of sit for now. I'm going to leave the front alone. But in the rear, I'm going to stiffen it up. And I'm going to turn this down to 45. Because if it isn't this, it's going to have to be a gear change and a tire change. <laughs> Let's try to launch it like this again. Still spinning pretty bad. Mm -hmm. 
I think I'm putting... I'm going to put an oil cooler and a ballast plate on this thing, because it needs more front weight. So much for making this thing light. Okay, I can tell you this, this front ballast plate put a lot of weight on the front of the car. pretty bad off the line. Less tire pressure, more stiff shocks. So I went faster with the weight. So stiffen up the front end. You put it up to what I usually run the other one at. I'm gonna leave the eh, you know let's let's experiment. Put that down. Any spring? I'm not worried about that. Uh put this down to eight psi. That hindered us. That that hindered this thing. And I can't get a bigger tire on this thing. <sighs> mm -hmm. 
only thing I could do real quick is put this bump damping back up. But I'm also gonna slow it. I'll just stiffen these up a little more. Put it up to be at 120. I don't know if the spinning is something that I'm ever going to get past with this car. I see a rotary in this thing's future. <laughs> I'm going to toy with this thing and see what I can come back with, because this ain't working out. Alright. I think I might have figured out how to get close. It has no headlights, why did I even do that? I put the boost up and we're revving the 10k. If this thing doesn't go close to a 9.0 on 40 pounds of boost, that thing over there is racing. And this thing is uh, going away again to get rear wheel drive converted for a rotary. Or maybe an inline four stall. I don't know. Who knows right now? <laughs> That was a lot of, uh... That was a lot of violence. I almost want to try the other type of tire. this PSI and see if it would do better. Sixty foot is off though. But a nine fifty six is the fastest this car has gone. I need like a nine oh to be able to work with this thing to get it there by the time it has to race. Oh we're close.
I cannot make these tires any, uh, like, there's five PSI in them right now. So, let's try the competition uh, sidewall. Still at the same PSI? It is, yeah, it's at 5 PSI. <laughs> I don't know how it could get better. I don't think this is racing. I mean, the burnout was cool. Yep. I don't think I'm going to be able to make a front wheel drive drag car work. I despise this thing because of that. Because A, I think I have figured out what was wrong with the car. It's just that the current suspension in the game limits me. So I cannot tune the suspension any more to get this car to actually do what it needs to to go straight down a drag strip with like a 1860 foot because if I could do a 18 that could get me down to like 930s I bet so yeah this this setup's not gonna work unfortunately <laughs> I wish I could make it work I want to but I feel as if I have a better I have a better plan to do that it's just that you know we need to kind of we got to get there first so yeah there's the sad ending to the covet Let's get in this thing and test pass it and then I want to try one thing to maybe make this thing not do what it's doing. I hope. So I'm trying to remember what I launched this thing at. I think I've always I can do forty five. Yeah, so that's an 8-1. That's going a 136-60 foot. And that's with a bad launch.
it's all with the front suspension, I feel, because I think there's too much weight transfer happening at once, and I think I could have softened the rear up a touch. And it'll work. So I'm going to make those changes really quick, and we'll make our last pass of the video here. All right, let's see how this does. Still hopping because I think it's too light. That was just too low on the launch RPM. That did what it needed to. What was that at? 45? I'll launch this thing at 5 grand. Fuck it. That was a better 60 foot, I think. Or actually, I think it was a little slower. I don't remember what the 60 foot was before. I know it's slower because they changed the entire setup, but. One more pass. That was terrible. Six thousand RPM launch just for fun. Yeah, I think just for fun. That's as good as that's going to get. <laughs> so yeah, come December, you're going to see this thing racing. Maybe with a better launch if I can ever figure it out. And, uh... Yeah. No COVID, unless I can get it built in time, but there's a lot of other cars that we gotta focus on. And as long as this upcoming BeamNG update doesn't kill the entire game for me, or this map, uh, sneak peek, we got a burnout pad in West Coast again. Yeah. So yeah, this December, keep your eyes out for the announcement, because it's coming. We're going to be, uh, we're going to be having a fun event.
But hopefully you have enjoyed. I'm sorry for your disappointment in a front-wheel drive drag car. Um, I, I hate the Covet. The Covet is um, at rotary. <laughs> I see no other solution than, than to ditch the whole front-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive, or all-wheel drive. I can see all-wheel drive being cool in this because I have yet to do that. But there's no way in home sticking with front-wheel drive. Uh, no, this car's done. Let's get into different drivetrain setup. Engine's good. Drivetrain's not good. So, yeah. All right, so hopefully you have enjoyed this episode. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>